Here are just a few things you can use to help spruce up your next project using Would You Bend products like this one. Let's get started. Roll that beautiful open. Hi everyone, Sean here with Kent's Creations. We're going to take this Would You Bend piece of a flower and some leaves that go off to the side. It's kind of a thicker piece, so we're going to use our heat gun here to heat it up so we can bend it around the terracotta pot. As I sit here to make sure it's good to go, I'm going to place some glue on the back and make sure it's all well coated. Once we do that, the piece will start to solidify, so I just heat it up again so I can get it to bend around. I see I just need to bend a little more at the tip on both ends, so I'm going to make sure it's good to go. One more there on the side, and then once the glue is on there nice and tight, we're good. Take some border uh, rope looking material, we're just going to heat that up so I can get it to go around the top piece because I want to make it look pretty. Take that, and then we're going to take my X-Acto knife and cut it just a little longer than I did just to make sure it's good. And then we are good to go. So I'm going to take that now and heat it up again because it does start getting hard after it starts cooling down. Once it's uh, heated, I can start bending it around the terracotta pot, place some glue around there, heat it up a little more again, and then start placing it around the top part. Got that all finished. I'm going to heat that up so I can cut it right at the point. Once it's done, I'm going to add a little glue at the end, and there we go. Now we're going to take some Dixie Bell Cobalt Blue paint. I thought this would be perfect for an outdoor type pot, so I'm going to stir it up, get it ready to go. Take my uh, two inch brush and start brushing the outside and I'm going to brush it all over the pot including the pieces as we did here. Now that we're done with this piece now I wanted to accent it a little bit because that just looks a little boring. So we're going to take a little bit of the Dixie Bell Amber uh, Gemstone Mousse. It is a copper color. I'm using a brush on this because it's a little more thinner than the other material like the uh, gilding wax and it goes on so nicely as you can see here. You just brush on and it highlights all the raised pieces of the would you bend and it just makes it look so beautiful and then as we put it some more here and there I thought I'd uh, maybe try to distress it a little bit on the bottom because you know sometimes these things might be sitting in some dirt and stuff so got a bigger brush just to do it a little more and then did a little more highlighting around the pot itself to give it a nice distressed look and then there there you have it another project Again, here is just a few items of what you can get at Would You Bend to help make your drab into fab. This is just a small portion of items you can buy. Just click on the link in the description below. In case you've missed it, we have three other videos that you can watch about Would You Bend. There is What is Would You Bend? What to use to heat Would You Bend? And our first project, a nightstand. Thank you for watching this video on our second project using Would You Bend. We hope to bring you more in-depth videos on using this wonderful, easy-to-use product. You can purchase products from Would You Bend in the links below so you can make anything into a masterpiece of art. Are you part of the Ken's Crew? No worries, look for the link below that says Ken's Crew Headquarters. This is the go-to place for our fans in helping them save money on products, product reviews, and tutorials. In fact, using any of the links below helps support our channel and for that, we thank you. Stay up to date on everything by subscribing to our channel. Make sure you click on the bell icon so you can be notified when we post a video or when we go live. Here are some videos that you may also enjoy. Again, thanks for watching.